Hi everyone, my name is Ashu and I lead the Worldwide Resilience Partners teams and I have Ganesh with me who's going to introduce himself from Deloitte. Thank you for being here, Ganesh. Hey, thanks Ashu for the opportunity. It's a great, amazing event. I appreciate it. Wonderful. And how are you liking reInvent this year? Uh, I would say so. I'm learning a lot, meeting a lot of people. Obviously, the crowd is great compared to the last couple of years. Really enjoying the crowd. Wonderful. Anything special that you guys are doing as part of your customer needs, opportunities, markets? So obviously, you know what, with all the announcements, what we heard today, I think we are all being one step side and tightly integrated with that. So if you're meeting with the clients, talking about the opportunities, especially the Gen A buzzwords that's happening right. in the wall is what we're trying to get engaged with. Wonderful. Uh, I think one of the things that I'm hearing from the customers a lot at this reInvent is all about resilience. So I was just curious, what's your view like around resilience is? What are you hearing from your customers in the market? Ensuring resilience is a key for all the businesses. Because I think it's a very, it's there as an impediment for them to go back and try to provide unprotected services for the client, protected data mostly right now because of all the cybersecurity threats that exist, and obviously to maintain a customer trust for them to build the brand protection is what the key is, what we hear from the customers. Wonderful. And I think customer trust is the word. I think you, you nailed it that sense. Uh, as you know, we are launching the new AWS Resilience Competency and you guys are the launch partners. So how do you think that this new competency and the AWS services and the partner practice is going to help you help your customers in their resilience goals? First of all, thanks a lot for acknowledging that we are the partner as well, so I appreciate the opportunity. Uh, second thing, obviously, there's absolutely a great excitement exists there. Uh, one of the things what I would say from the competency and the alliance from both AWS and Deloitte, I think it's a major relief in building capabilities for us to go solve the customer problems in the market. I would say more of a business demand, I would say, rather for business objectives. That's where the whole alliance thing is. The key takeaway, if I want to go back and summarize in three steps, is obviously the expertise both AWS and Deloitte brings to the table to solve the customer problems. Addressing the business objectives is key. The second one, I would say the expanded capabilities, the state-of-the-art services that what we can consume within the cloud to go back and bake into our own solution, seamlessly integrate into those it's going to be really, really great for the customers to increase the overall posture. Wonderful. Do you see value in investing more in resilience um, between Deloitte and AWS? Do you see a lot of value in that? Or how, what's the customer view is around that? Obviously, the customer's expectations are going to be about how can you ease my pain in the morrow, you know, right. to go back and address the market. The key thing is about the customer trust, as we spoke early on, is creating a lot of demand on the business to go back and what I call as an instant gratification right. uh, is what's been in the demand in the market. So the business obviously would love to go back and work with Deloitte and AWS to bring creative and innovative solutions. Right. And to talk about the investment, obviously there are opportunities in there right now to take the services plus our industry expertise to go back and solve industrial related problems so okay. that we can go back and bring the cross industry solutions and services to the market. That's great. And I, th I think to that point of like cross-industry certification is what most of the customers have been asking for. That's, that's going to be wonderful. And I, I, I get curious, right? There are so many facets to resilience when we think of it uh, or you know, how we address this to our customers. What's your view? Like, what are customers really looking for when they think of tech resiliency? See, tech resiliency very in this is indispensable in the, I would say, ever-changing digital landscape. But yet, customers, you know what, grapple to go back and you know, tackle the intricate challenges. Given the consequences of all the advanced technologies and abundance of technical services, I would say. So the view for the customer is basically saying, I would say the key trends that's out in the market is, hey, the cultural shift, I would say, it's a very a paradigm shift is, how do you adapt or increase the observability of what the service is, what I do to understand the system behavior? And I think with the with the mind of customer building dashboards and defining measures is improving. The second aspect, I would say, it's more and more automation and orchestration is driving the market as well, because obviously the burden on the developers right now with more emphasis on product productivity, the burden on developers to test the resiliency aspect is increasing, so the automation and orchestration is the second part that's really, really driving it. The third, obviously, the chaos experiments is getting extended beyond the cloud native into the right. hybrid world because the organizations and the business wants to go back and test the resiliency and the vulnerabilities before it impacts their end users. So those are all the three things the customers are looking more and more right. on those aspects as well.
Well, I think that's a great perspective. I think that's what we hear from most of our customers and the partners. So I'm really glad that you kind of share the same view in the spirit of partnership. One last question that I have for you, uh, Ganesh, is that what's your view on resilience with regulated industries? So that's a very interesting transition and transformation that's happening. What I would say is like before we get into the regulations, what I would say is uh, there's a paradigm shift what I call is from a react, reactive maintenance resiliency to a proactive systematic approach for resilience is driving the market. With the distributed architectures and especially adoption of clouds and third party services right now, that's put an ever a regulatory visibility more into it and the cup lines are evolving towards as well. So the regulatory industries have been forced to go back and underwrite the third party risk, which demands a lot of resiliency exposure in those areas which I believe there's going to be a lot of, lot of transformation in that space due to those regulations. Wonderful. I think that was super informational. Thank you so much for spending time with us, Ganesh, and thank you for being a partner. We really appreciate your partnership. Again, Ash, I'll take another opportunity to thank you as well. I'm looking forward for a great partnership to go back and try to go back and address all the customer issues. Wonderful. Well. Thank you so much. Thanks, Thanks again. Thank, thank you. you.